Hi everyone. As I said in my email, I'm really excited that this week we're going to be focusing on the Nutcracker and using that as our exploration for the week and our fun for the week. So Melanie and myself are going to drop off at your houses. Just going to run up and put them on your front door stoop. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, starting after our Zoom calls, we'll start getting those to your houses. And I thought it might be easier if I just made a quick video letting you know kind of what is in here this week. Um, so the first thing that you'll see in the brown paper bag is going to be our science experiment. And I'm kind of excited about it. So it's a melting snow person. And um, this is a picture of what it looks like. We're gonna do a demonstration on Monday. So I'll show the children and demonstrate for them uh, how they'll be able to make their snow person melt. But in the brown paper bag, you will find, I put together, you'll find a little plastic cup. And inside the little plastic cup is it's baking soda. What's included in this is basically just baking soda, glitter, because we love it, uh, fake snow, and on the bottom, um, there are two googly eyes and the uh, carrot nose, not a real carrot, but, um, and also included, we put an eyedropper in there. So when you do this at home, you'll just wanna have, I'll demonstrate it for you as well, I'll make a little video, but you're gonna have a container that, you know, you'll flip this upside down so that it can come out. I've frozen them, because I said it, then the fun kind of lasts a little bit longer. The piece that you'll need to have, hopefully on hand and ha at your house, is vinegar. Uh, so that's what they'll be using the eyedropper for the chemical reaction um, to squeeze up the vinegar and then squeeze it on top of the snowman and then watch as the bubbling and it'll continue to kind of come down and melt, uh, which will be a lot of fun just to watch. The other thing that they said you could do is add food coloring to your vinegar. So that way then it's an even more fun, maybe like blue or whichever color. So that will be in there. This will be in there in that brown paper bag, as well as the eyedropper. Um, vinegar will be the household item that will be needed to make the science experiment happen. Uh, the other pieces that are in the bag, I will start with, uh, I bound or clipped together all of kind of the paper goods parts of our lessons this week. So you're gonna find um, a, a nutcracker. I'm not gonna read the nutcracker on Monday. I'm gonna read it Tuesday and Wednesday, two different versions of the story. And then I found this really nice, just fun nutcracker book that they can have for themselves. If they wanna, uh, they really enjoy coloring stuff in. So I think they wanna color it in and you can read the story at home as well. So that, that's included in our packet of materials. Also, the next four pages of the name writing practice, and again, this is at your child's pace, um, giving them an opportunity to scaffold it uh, at the rate. So like, for instance, this is Jalen's, and it's gonna be first name, last name, an opportunity again to trace first name, and last name this week. Uh, the other piece that's included in here, we're gonna play this together on Wednesday. And I'm gonna make videos too throughout the week so that way we can keep track of everything. But this is a dice cube that can be cut out and then assembled together to make a cube. And the fun part is that it's a kind of a math dice drawing snowflake game. So we're gonna do it together in our gathering on Wednesday. So for instance, if we roll the dice and we get an equal sign or two dashes, somewhere in the snowflake, you'll make that design and then they'll keep creating. So uh, you'll notice that I've created one that they can do at home later if they'd like to do another one and, and one that we can do together at gathering. So that's in there as well. Here's some just fun pieces. I found this gingerbread house cutout uh, that can be decorated and cut out and assembled. Could be tricky, could not be, but I thought it'd be fun. 
so I put that in there. Since we're since we're covering the Nutcracker, there's just a couple different copies of images that um, you know they're so creative. I just thought that they might want to have the opportunity to use these how they want, and that's why I included them. So there's one of the Mouse King, a template, and one of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and one from the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater of the Nutcracker and Clara dancing together. These can be cut out and then added to a, like a background if you decided they wanted to make a background picture and kind of make a scene for those. It's another extension thought on that. Uh, included as well in the materials, um, Miss Melanie made some awesome snow Play-Doh. So this is a Play-Doh mat that can be used with that Play-Doh so they can make a snow person and snow. It's just a fun opportunity to work with that Play-Doh uh, and then went over a creative way they wanna use it as well. These are dry erase covers. So you can see you can take things in and out. And so this is a nice math game that can be used with the dice that we provided already. Uh, so they'll just need dice, and this can be used with the dry erase marker that uh, was sent home as well. You might want, and then you'll just need like maybe I don't know, cotton balls, uh, even cut up pieces of paper. So the idea is that they'll, on this side, they'll use the dice that's one through six on this side because there's two dice, uh, seven through 12. They'll roll the dice, and then if they roll the number six, they'll cover it up with, let's say, let's say you use cotton balls. You cover up that number six, or maybe you even just cross it out with the dry erase marker. And then it gives you another opportunity with your dry erase marker to, to practice. Uh, printing those numbers on both sides. So it's another fun opportunity to do that. And then in each one, because we were still building off of names, um, we put together, there's a huge piece, nice big piece of blue paper. And in this baggie, you're gonna find, Miss Melanie did the first name and I did the last name. So there are first name, ones that can be put together in order, so there's a letter for their first names, right? So we can just, we can make two snow people, one for your first name, and then I did the old school way of cutting out the white circles and putting all the letters on for their last name. So it's another nice way to just kind of keep talking about the letters that are in their first and last names and then putting them in order and seeing them. Again, the idea isn't that we're necessarily uh, have all of that right now or that we're printing those pieces. I'm just continuing the more and more that the children see it and get to manipulate it and use it and create something creative with it, uh, the more that it, it sits with them and resonates with them. So if you'll wanna use glue stick, I'll go over this again. Big piece of paper. They really enjoyed the rocket ship name, so I think they'll have a lot of fun with this. Feel free to embellish it. I, I'll show you in the art bag, there's some snowflake stickers, um, some extra things that they can, they can add to it. And then there's also a nice big piece of white paper. We're gonna be using this for um, doing watercolor painting with each other on Wednesday. Also, the other one's on Tuesday. I promise I will continue to send out update emails too to remind us of all these details. The other thing then that's in here is I try to keep most of the art materials in the Ziploc bag. So in the Ziploc bag, you will find uh, some stuff's just in here just for fun. Um, we just have just for fun some nice fun snowflakes that can get decorated, sparkly ornaments, gingerbread, and then these are each, every child I put in a sheet, it's hard to see them, but it's a sheet of snowflake stickers. So that can get added to their name, snow person that they create, or another art project if they have another idea of what, how they'd like to use it. Those are in there for creative exploration. Miss Melanie's Play-Doh that she made for the children. Uh, and again, they can use a Play-Doh mat with that, as well as however their creativity chooses. Uh, as I mentioned, one day we're going to be doing watercolor painting with each other. And so on that day, uh, I've included a watercolor palette in the art bag. They'll need to bring this. The art, uh, your art box has the paintbrush in it. 
So they can use that paintbrush for this. And this is a bag of a lot of beads and jingle bells. One important thing to note with this bag is that in here I put a really big jingle bell and there's a pipe cleaner attached to it. Uh, this is gonna get attached to the top of the paintbrush that's in their art box because we are going to have a sensory experience, um, all of our five senses, most of them, uh, when we do our watercolor painting. So we'll attach this to our paintbrush while we're listening to the Nutcracker music and painting with each other. The other, the next day, we'll be, they'll be bringing this bag of beads and jingle bells because we're gonna make, they'll wanna bring this pipe cleaner with the streamer attached to it, this really fun ribbon streamer attached to it. And we're gonna together create uh, a fun creative movement um, streamer thing where we add all the jingle bells and the beads and we'll show them how to attach it. So eventually it'll get decorated. You can add different more ribbons to it. And then I also put some extra pipe cleaners in here as well. Because with the extra beads, the children might wanna have fun creating something else as well on top of it. Uh, so that's all in the art bag. And then last but not least, and this is something that I want to make sure stays a surprise. Uh, so the culmination of our Nutcracker Week is that the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater is providing a matinee performance at 10 a.m. on Thursday. We've signed up for it. I'm super excited. Uh, it starts at 10 a.m. They've told me that the full performance is, well, the full time is 70 minutes, which includes an intermission, as well as they're gonna introduce some of the uh, ballet performers. So in essence, it should be more like 60 minutes, 55 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna invite the children on Thursday. I'm gonna send them, I'm gonna tell them about the performance on Wednesday, but then on, I'm gonna send you a video and I'm hoping then you can show it to them Thursday morning and ask them, to open up a gift that uh, Miss Melanie and myself have put together for us to enjoy the performance together. So the idea is that they'll watch the performance. And again, if you choose how it works for your family, um, but we wanted to make it an opportunity to share together. Uh, but then we'll have a party, you know, our version of a party afterwards that Thursday at 1130, uh, where we're going to play Nutcracker Bingo. We'll bring our, we're gonna play a Nutcracker Freeze Dance game. And in this bag, I'm gonna invite the children. There's um, hot chocolate and popcorn and a candy cane. And their Nutcracker Bingo card is in there as well for the party. So um, I'm gonna invite them to get dressed up for the performance and enjoy some hot cocoa or popcorn during the performance or if they'd like to have hot cocoa when we have our party together. But that's what this is for. So this won't wanna, we wanna open that till Thursday. And that is everything. If I think of anything else, you know I'll send you a message. <laughs> and if you think of anything, please don't hesitate to jet me uh, an email as well. So I appreciate all of your support, Miss Melanie and myself so much. Uh, appreciate all of this and, and making this a joyful and fun experience as we can as we meet together um, virtually this week. And we hope that this Nutcracker experience together is another opportunity to continue to share joy with each other. Thanks.